Will you make money with Postmates? I'll tell you right now that you will make money with Postmates. But the real question is, is it even worth it? So I know you're looking to make extra money as a Postmates driver. So I'm going to tell you about my experience as a Postmates driver so you can determine if the money that you'll make is even worth it. Hi, I'm Shane of The Well 5 and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. I started working with Postmates so that I could pick up orders between my Grubhub delivery orders. So if you didn't know, I'm a Grubhub delivery driver too. And I figured that I could maximize the amount of money that I made per day if I also worked Postmates. And Postmates is one of the most well-known, popular delivery gigs out there. So I figured it would be a great way to ramp up the amount of money that I made per day. So I'm going to tell you about my experience working with Postmates and the first $100 that I made as a Postmates delivery driver. But before I get started, make sure that you hit that like button if you're interested in making extra money. I'm going to give you a little overview of the money that I made before we get into the nitty gritty of the details. So in order to make $111.52, I had to do 17 deliveries. So that works out to about $6.56 per order and keep in mind that the federal minimum wage is currently $7.25 per hour. So now I'm going to get into the pay structure for Postmates. Postmates pay structure is based off of five key elements. As a Postmates delivery driver, you'll make money per pickup, per drop off, per minute, per mile, and with tips. So that's the basis of Postmates pay structure. And based off of the minimum rates for each of those elements, you'll make a minimum of $3.25 per order that you do. As a Postmates delivery driver, you'll get two different types of orders. You'll either get a prepaid order or an order that you'll have to place at the restaurant and pay for upon your arrival. So with those two orders, I like the prepaid orders a lot better. The prepaid orders are so much quicker and all you have to do is just go pick them up because the order has already been placed and the payment has already been processed. Now with the orders that you have to place on your own, I don't like them. They're a little bit more cumbersome, they take up more time and you don't get paid more to do them. One thing to keep in mind with Postmates pay structure is that they allow customers to tip upwards to one to two weeks after the delivery has been completed. So what that means for you as a new Postmates driver is that you're going to feel like you're not making any money. Your morale is going to be low. That's exactly how I felt my first week as a Postmates driver. I'm doing all these orders where the payouts are around three to five dollars each and it's just not adding up. You feel like you're doing all this work and you're just not seeing the numbers go higher and higher. And the reason for that is because a lot of Postmates customers tend to tip afterward. And so what will happen is after a week or so of working, you'll go back into the app and check your earnings and then you'll realize that, hey, where this extra $50 come from? But the issue is the morale that you have on the day of. You're not feeling that instant gratification, which is what a lot of people like to feel as gig economy drivers. They want the instant gratification of being able to make money on the same day. And with Postmates, you don't get that same feeling. Until you've been working Postmates for a while, and then your pace tends to start averaging out over, over time. But in that first week or two, you're gonna feel like, what am I doing? Am I even making money? And it's really because of how they allow customers to tip in the app after the delivery has been completed upwards to two weeks later. Through my experience as a Postmates driver, I have realized that the Postmates delivery map is super misleading. It's super misleading and this plays a role in how much money you're gonna actually make and profits at the end of the day. Because Postmates will send you an order, they'll show you a map, and then you'll think that, oh, this order isn't too far away, let me do it. Then you do it and then you realize you're driving 13 miles to deliver an order. And then you're wasting all of your gas going so far out to deliver an order and your payout 
for the amount of delivery miles that you're doing doesn't really equate to how much money you're spending for your gas in your car. And so for me, I think that the distance for some of the orders that you have to drop off is just not worth it. However, I will say that Postmates does a really good job in terms of distance to the restaurant for pickups. Most of the time, you're either on the same street that the restaurant is on or on the opposite street, literally within five minutes or so away from the restaurant. So I do appreciate that. But when it comes to the drop-offs for orders, I have driven like 15, 20 miles to deliver an order and I'm like, why did I do this? And then I go back and look and I'm like, oh my gosh, their map is so misleading. And if I would have known, I would not have taken this order. When I first started this video, I said that Postmates is one of the most well-known delivery gigs out there. And so I figured that there must be tons of Postmates orders being sent out on a daily basis. And so I should be able to make lots of money. But my experience has been totally different. So a lot of the issues with order frequency really boil down to the app. So what I've noticed is that you have to really be in the app and have the app live on your phone and active for you to get any order sent your way. And then also, Postmates likes to send you orders for restaurants that are literally like, like I said, within five minutes of where you are. So if there aren't any current orders where you are, the likelihood of you getting an order sent to you is really low. And then I noticed, this is the most frustrating thing of it all, is that I've noticed with the Postmates app is that it times out. It literally will time out. So if you haven't received the order in X amount of time for some reason, then the app will log you off as a driver that is willing to accept orders. And it's so frustrating because they don't send you any warning or anything like that. So you have to constantly like check the app to make sure that it's live and searching for orders for you to make sure that you're being sent orders. And despite doing all of that, many times I go an entire night not getting any Postmates orders. And I'm in a large city that tends to get a lot of orders and like for example when i do grubhub orders i'm getting like tons per hour then with postmates i will go the whole day the whole time that i'm working grubhub not receiving an entire postmates order and that's super frustrating and to me it makes it not worth it especially if you're trying to pick up extra money and especially if this is your only gig economy job that you're trying to make extra money off of. Now it might be different in different areas, but I figure in an area like Atlanta where people are using delivery apps all the time for every type of service out there, I just didn't understand why I wasn't getting as many Postmates orders as I would have liked to or compared to other delivery jobs that I have seen out there. Earlier I asked, is it even worth it to be a Postmates delivery driver? So I'm gonna run down some details and then you can make the verdict for yourself. So it took me 17 orders to make $111. That breaks down to about $6.56 per order. So if you think about it from the sense of doing one order per hour, that means that you're making less than the federal minimum wage of $7.25. And in my experience, I was doing about one Postmates order per hour. And maybe even less sometimes because sometimes I wouldn't get many orders per day. And so one order would mean that you would be making less than minimum wage. And so for a person who is doing Postmates as their only gig economy job, I don't know if it's worth it. And then for the person who's trying to make a little extra money on the side, is it worth it to make less than minimum wage? I don't, I don't know about that. And then also when you factor in other issues, the issues when it comes to having to place orders and wait for orders and pay for orders with those pet the restaurant type of orders, and the issue of having to drive long distances to drop off orders. And then the whole <laughs> major issue to me, the fact that tips are paid out weeks, 
later makes your whole morale just very low. When I was doing Postmates, my energy was super low because I was feeling like, why am I putting in all this effort to make this little amount of money when I can do a fraction of the number of deliveries that I do at Postmates and make way more money? And so for me, I'd rather do another delivery service. Now, if in your area, Postmates sends out more orders and the orders are a lot closer together, it may be worth it to pick up a Postmates order here and there. But to do it for me in an area where I know that a lot of people use delivery apps, for some reason, Postmates just was not it. It just was not it for my area. And it just wasn't making sense financially for me to continue doing it. But I will, since I've moved to another area, I will try it out. And we'll see how that works out. But if you're interested in making money with another delivery app like Grubhub, where I've been able to make thousands and thousands of dollars to pay off my debt, my $108,000 debt, you'll want to check out this video here so that you can be able to maximize the amount of money that you're making in the gig economy. I appreciate you for watching and I hope that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so I can see you in the next video.